Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And let me be one of the first people to welcome you to January 6th. Team of the year in FIFA Ultimate Team is coming out today. And we need to talk about what could be coming today. And especially on our usual Monday Market Outlook video, talk about this stuff that we're seeing on this screen with a loading screen. Talk about all the content that we are going to be seeing for this next week of FIFA Ultimate Team because today is January 6th. Team of the year starts today, the day that we have all been waiting for. So I'm super excited to see what happens with the game today. Super excited to see with what content comes out. We're gonna talk about the market in this video. We're gonna talk about player prices all across the board from low stuff to really to really high price cards. SBC fodder, SBCs, again, that are gonna be coming out. And of course, uh, the team of the year cards themselves. But the first thing I want to talk about, because a lot of you, a lot of you guys seem to be wanting to buy teams. And again, I want to put this in your mind and make you before we start going into the video. I just want to put this point out there for you guys. And I'm talking about this a lot, right? Make sure that you have a plan going into the year, right? So I'm looking at my squad right now. And uh, I'm not going to be buying a team during this team of the year period. I want to be doing the upgrade packs and I want to be making coins during this period and maybe trying out a team of the year card. That's kind of my goal and my aim for this team of the year season and this week of team of the year. If I want you guys to make a goal and I want you guys to have a plan because when you plan ahead and when you think about what you're going to be doing, right? You're planning ahead. You know, do, am I going to build a team during this promo? Have I bought players already? Is that my main goal? When you sort those things out, when you have a plan going into promotion, knowing what you want to do with your coins, knowing what you want to do with your club, then you can plan accordingly and make moves accordingly and uh, maybe save yourself some time and some coins on this game. So again, plan what you want to do. I want to do upgrade packs. I want to do a ton of them. I'm going to be buying some rare gold cards tonight very soon uh, to get them in my club so that I can possibly do those SBCs for cheaper later this week when the upgrade packs do come out. But I do want to talk about this market. If you're somebody who wants to buy a team during this promotion, especially some of the meta golds, I talked about this in my videos earlier this week that I thought uh, Thursday was going to, not Thursday, excuse me, Saturday. Yesterday, Saturday was going to be the lowest day on the market for some of the most OP um, meta cards on this game that a ton of people want to buy for their teams because that's what we saw on Black Friday. And I think this promotion is going to resemble Black Friday in itself. And again, yesterday for a couple, for a decent amount of cards today, we're going to look at a lot of cards that went up from Saturday into Sunday because most people think that Sunday is the buy day now because they think, okay, weekend league's ending and I should go buy my team that I want to use next week. I should buy it on Sunday, which is, you know, last year that was true. But this year, the absolute cheapest day is usually Saturdays and especially Saturday nights on open bids and stuff. You can see that uh, today, Messi from Saturday night went from 870K all the way up to 915,000 coins. So yesterday, I think we, we nailed that one right on. Messi was the cheapest yesterday, actually 865 at one point. Same thing for Neymar as well. Neymar as well was really cheap yesterday. I think he was like 645. Uh, Saturday, he was 630. 630. 6,000 coins according to Footbin. Today on Sunday, he's risen up to about 676K, so he's up a decent amount. And that also happened with some really, really high tier cards uh, that I'm going to show you guys right now on my transfer target. So it looks like some people went out and they bought some of their cards today for their teams just because they had been panic sold so much. Now, I do think that a card like this Mbappe might have another chance to be panic sold again. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to talk about that a little bit later when we mention Team of the Year cards. But this card right here you can see right now is 1.73 mil, 1.71. Uh, and he's been like 1.7 plus all day. Last night, there were cards of this caliber selling around 1.6. And that's kind of a buy price that I put for a lot of you guys on this card in, in the streams when we were talking about him. Uh, so if you bought him around 1.6, I think you're doing good. He's He was up to 1.75 already today. This Vieira card last night, this one sold for 1.76. I saw multiple Vieiras around 1.7 flat or under. And he's like 1.8 mil today. There's a couple undercuts showing up right now, but he was 1.8 mil for most of the day today. This Firmino went from 6.90 to like 7.30 at one point today. This card's up like 20 K from last night as well. So it did look like some people bought their teams back. Now, some stuff has kind of stayed the same. Some stuff on like the cheaper levels, if we're looking at some more, um, you know, maybe cheaper level cards, like let's say Lewandowski's team of the group stage. Some of these cards dropped a little bit more today than they were than what they were on um, 
than what they were on Saturday night. But you know what? Most of the drops happened on Saturday, and overall, most of the cards today either stayed the same or uh, went up a little bit because people actually went out and they maybe bought some cards for their teams because they don't expect them to get any cheaper during the Team of the Year promo, which I think, especially for some of these guys that are not getting in the Team of the Year, like Lewandowski, I do think it's possible that this card could make a nice rebound as it's the best version of his card uh, into that. So that's what I, I want to start off this video by talking about that and some of those market movements that we saw. I also want to talk about some other things in this market. Art, you know, we talked about um, some cheap cards in yesterday's video. I mentioned that some of those cards are definitely going to be a buy before the team of the year is absolutely released, right? So this is the guy that I used in the video yesterday as an example, Deli Ali's Inform. I mean, he's been over 50K multiple times this year. Um, and this is the type of card that I don't feel like is going to be hurt or affected by team of the year, right? Like this card really shouldn't be affected that much by team of the year. He was 52,000 coins just this weekend. His highest so far this year has been about 52K. He's kind of just bounced back and forth between 42 and 50K. But, uh, you know, Deli Ali is playing really well in real life right now. And this is the type of card that somebody who maybe just started the game uh, in... Maybe just started the game, they got it for Christmas. This is like the perfect type of card for them that they would maybe want to put in their squad. So maybe this guy, if you're on PlayStation, sorry, excuse me. Um, some informs like this that are, you know, that are still riding really low, like this guy at 40K, two of them get listed there at 42. I'm honestly kind of tempted to snag either one of those uh, because that's kind of the cheapest that he's been all day today. If we go back to the flipping graph and take a quick peek, 44, 45, 42K is like the cheapest that he has been. He was even 50K yesterday. So you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pick these two Deli Alleys up, and I'm going to throw them on my transfer list because I do think there is an opportunity for some of these cards uh, to rise after Team of the Year uh, and during Team of the Year because these cards shouldn't really be affected too much by the Team of the Year promotion just because somebody who wants to buy a Team of the Year card or do upgrade SBCs, they're probably still going to be able to afford this card after all that stuff happens. So on the informs that are under like 200k, even even a guy like I was looking at nine Golan, like this is a card that a lot of people like to use in their teams, right? This inform nine Golan card, the center mid one, uh, 86. This is a card that definitely wouldn't be impacted too much by team of the year, I don't think. So a lot of these guys are con have continually stayed low. 131k for this card is not bad. He was like 150 this weekend. So if I saw that drop maybe another 5 to 10k, I might have to pick up on some of that extra panic and possibly flip that card next week into team of the year because I do see... that I did this last year, boys. I can honestly... We're going to look back in a little bit at some of my videos from last year during this time frame. I bought cards last year during this promotion and I flipped them uh, into the team of the year because they were panic sold before and I bought them. And of course, people who, who, people who can't afford team of the year make up a large portion of the player base of this game. And they just basically maybe did some upgrade packs and they ended up buying their teams back over the course of the week, right? And you saw some of those informs under the 200,000 coin range rise back up. Kind of like last year I bought Fabinho's informs because he was a meta popular used inform. So that's something if you're wanting to invest in something right now, get over here on the market, look through the team of the weeks, um, you know, go through the team of the week page and basically just look at a bunch of graphs. Uh, and this is also going to be very good for you because you're going to be learning the prices of cards in this game that are very usable and that people uh, for trading wise as well. Like this Firmino is 137K. This Suarez is 100,000 coins flat right now at the moment, which I think might be cheaper than he was. This is even cheaper than what Suarez was during team of the week. That looks like it to be a, like a 10K undercut there as well. So look, look through some of these team of the weeks. Look through what you see in, with some of these cards. Again, if it's an under 200,000 coin card, and maybe for somebody like this Royce, I'm kind of interested in Royce because he's been usually around 300K and he's dipped down to 250. That would be a card I don't feel like would be hurt too much uh, by team of the year. But again, those are the types of cards that you might be able to put some coins into right now. Again, just make sure that it's an out of pack special card, that it is something that people use in their teams uh, and that it is... Um, under that 250k ish range, maybe 200k or under, you know, kind of suiting to that player base, which uh, would not really be looking into buying something for team of the year, but they might have sold their team off because, you know, a lot of people have been instructing sell your teams for this promo and then, you know, buy it back because it's prices are going to go down during team of the year. So I've, I, I played weekendly this weekend. I'm sure you guys have as well. I've got a couple more games to play. 
I saw so many gold teams this weekend of people that are just like stripping down their clubs to an untradeable gold team or rocking a cheap 100k team as they head into team of the year. And you're going to start seeing some of those cards slide back up this week after we exit and as we go through uh, team of the year. Speaking of team of the year cards, though, I want to talk about those cards that are coming out this week and some of the content that we can come out this week as well. Because after all, this is a market outlook video for this week in FIFA Ultimate Team, the, mark, the, the videos that we drop every Monday. You guys know this. So the first thing I want to look at is team of the year cards. And we're going to look at attackers first because I think EA is smart. The last two years, they have dropped attackers first, I believe. I think, I think that is correct. They have dropped attackers in packs the first day. So the first day they do attackers, second day they did midfielders, and the third day they did the defense and the goalkeeper last year and in FIFA 18, I believe. And then FIFA 17, they did defenders first. But I think they should do attackers first, again, because people who have been saving up packs feel like they can't wait, can't wait any longer. And they go out and they actually open up packs sometimes for the attackers because, you know, there's team leader cards and packs and they just can't wait any longer. And that does actually happen. So I do think it would be smart on EA's part to drop these cards and packs first. Last year, Mbappe, I want to look at this. First day, Mbappe was around 1.1 or 4.1 on PS, and he actually rose to 4.3 on Wednesday before they got put back into packs on Thursday, the entire team. And then he went down on Friday to 3.7 and then rose back to 4.1 um, on PlayStation. But I want to look this. Okay, again, we're looking at, um, I need to show you guys Xbox prices, but these, these cards are going to fluctuate from day one to day two to day three. If the attackers do come out first, this is a screenshot and a look of me last year on Xbox. So this Mbappe was around 3.6 or 3.7 mil uh, on that first night when he was in packs. So the first day that he was in packs that first night, they, the team of the year cards got decently cheap. This is from the, my Monday video last year and this is my Tuesday video looking at his price. He went from 3.7, which was where he was around here, 3.7 to 3.8. And he went all the way up to just over 4 million coins, right about 4.1 on Xbox before he got um, back into packs. And the, the Xbox graph doesn't really show it on a daily basis, but he did. Uh, he definitely did make that fluctuation of around like 300,000 coins. And the, the fluctuation was even bigger on PlayStation, right? So uh, if you're somebody on PlayStation, that could be a trend right away that if you want to try a Team of the Year card, maybe watch those prices right away as they get packed and as they get put onto the game. That would be something uh, that you could be watching out for. But then through the rest of this week, for the rest of this week, what you see is like the attackers are really rare. They're in packs. They're really rare, rare for one day. And then they all get released into packs, right? The entire team of the year gets released into packs and it, everything just, just goes down. Last year, this Mbappe went from 4.3 to Friday. He, he hit his lowest at 3.7. People starting buying the cards for weekend league. They started investing in these cards because they just knew these guys are going out of packs. And then boom, by Sunday, he's back to four mil. Uh, and then he stayed at four mil until next Friday, which is when Future Stars came and all these cards got panic sold, which was ridiculous in itself. But we'll we'll talk about that kind of stuff after this week of uh, Team of the Year is over. Are, is there going to be a crash uh, for Future Stars again? So uh, if you're looking to buy a Team of the Year card this week, this is what I would tell you. I think, again, uh, that probably sometime in that um, Friday or Saturday time frame might be your best. You could either take a chance of being Saturday night weekend league sell off as a time to buy some of those team of the year cards. Although I don't feel like the team of the years would be that much uh, panic sold, right? I don't think they, people would panic sell a team of the year card that much. Maybe a little bit of a drop on a Saturday night or Sunday of this next week as the team of the years are going out of packs. Um, but I would think that that Thursday or Friday would be a great time to look at these cards because it's technically still in the earlier part of weekend league. They'll run the lightning rounds on Friday. They're going to be like lightning rounds every single day of this week. We'll talk about those in a second as well. Uh, but yeah, for most of the team of the year cards, we'll look at Conte as well. Most of these cards, if we look at their graphs from last year, we'll go generations in FIFA 19 and Golo Conte, the 96 rated. This card is probably going to come out again. It's going to be insane. It's going to be insane. Boom, look at this. First day, 3.5 mil for Conte. Drops down on Friday to like 2.2, which was his lowest according to Footbin. And then by Monday, he was 2.5. So there's, on all the cards that I've looked at so far, at least most of them, there was a rebound from Friday into the end of the weekend when they went out of packs. And then, of course, we had the panic for future stars. Um, but 
if you're looking to buy one of these team of the year cards like to play with in this upcoming weekend league uh, or to get them at a good price of course we have to look at the pack weight first day we'll be looking at that kind of stuff and seeing how many of them actually do come onto the market but uh, that Friday looks to be kind of like the quote unquote buy day or time where you might be able to find these cards for a good price when they are in packs on this game. Speaking again of all the packs that are going to be open, let's go back to Footbin here for a second and look at the cheapest players by rating. I want to talk about the SBC fodder stuff this week in FIFA Ultimate Team as well. And I, I'm honestly perplexed right now because I think a lot of people are investing in high rateds. Um, we're, we're undoubtedly going to be getting SBCs, right? The loading screen, if we head back to FIFA, the loading screen that is on foot right now shows us that we are getting player moments and that we are getting flashback SBCs and supposedly we're getting seven of them based on what the loading screen says, which, uh, four flashbacks and three player moments. And those SBCs, you would think, okay, boom, there's seven SBCs. That means seven days of team of the year, one SBC per day. It would make sense, right? We will see what actually happens if that, if they do one SBC per day. A lot of times on the first day of the promo, they don't drop an SBC. Um, but regardless, I know a lot of you, a lot of people, maybe not you guys watching this video, but a lot of people want to know when do I invest for some of these SBCs? And people have been buying high rated golds to do the icon SBCs because there's nothing to do in this game right now until we get to team of the year. And they've also been buying them to um, invest for the SBCs coming during team of the year. But I'm still not somebody who wants to buy these cards and I would not recommend buying these cards at inflated prices because they are inflated right now. 86s are up like three to 4K, uh, 85s are up like 2K. Even the 84s are up like a thousand coins. 87s are up two to 3K, 88s are up three, 4K, 89s are up like four to 5K. So I would honestly just wait for the lightning rounds to hit on Monday and then reevaluate what happens because if no SBC comes on Monday and these cards are going to get packed and packed and packed for lightning rounds uh, that we're going to see basically every single day of this week, then they're going to drop, right? You're going to have people that invested in these. They're going to be panic selling on top of that. And it could be a fantastic time to get in on these cards. And regardless, if we do have an SBC that comes out, I don't feel like the demand for that SBC, if it's overpriced, like half of the SBCs we get on this game are the first flashback or player moments that we get maybe today on Monday. Is there going to be that much demand that these card prices stay high? I really don't know. It all just depends on the SBC. So definitely keep your eye on some of these, uh, especially the 85s, 86s, and 87s um, early on in the promotion uh, due to just the pack supply and the amount of stuff that is going to be entered out in this game via, uh, via packs. So that's one thing I wanted to mention as well. And then talking about more about lightning rounds, just really quick to end the video. Last year, I did a bunch of trading during lightning rounds last year. I'm going to talk about the first day, especially because it worked out the best on the first day. I was doing basic icon flipping. Now, this might not apply to all you guys. You might not have a ton of coins, but if you're somebody who's got a bunch of coins, this is what I would do. Basically, set yourself a filter to get to the 59th minute on icons. Now, right now, there's not going to be that many, so I'm going to get there with a pretty broad range filter, right? I got to the icon 59th minute in three pages, which is pretty crazy. But it's not going to be this way today when all the lightning rounds happen. So you're going to have to kind of tighten your budget a little bit. So what I would say is, if you're somebody who's got like 2 million coins, set yourself a... Um, a basic chem style filter for the icons where you're tr basically what you're trying to get is panic selling and people packing these I new icons from opening lightning round packs. You're trying to get super low undercuts on the 59th minute that are going to rebound later in the day. And last year, I saw a perfect example of this with baby George best because he was a right wing card. Obviously they released the messy right wing and Mbappe right wing. Uh, team of the year cards and those two team of the years were um, came onto the game and people maybe panic sold their icons to go and buy a team of the year card I think you're going to see a decent amount of that tomorrow but what happened was that George Best I bought one last year in that first lighting round for 900,000 coins flat and I sold it literally the next listing later as a fresh card uh, for 1.03 mil or something like that so I made like 40,000 coins after tax or something like that, if my math is correctly, maybe 50-ish thousand coins after tax um, because somebody panic sold that card 
and then they basically wanted to go buy it back because they realized how expensive those team leaders are or somebody just wanted to go buy a fresh George Best. So there's going to be a lot of panic on the Icon 59 with the basic chem styles tomorrow, especially in the attacker range, because if they do release the attacker uh, today, I keep, I keep saying today and tomorrow, Monday, 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 if they do put the attackers out first, then there's going to be some panic on the attackers uh, icons that are released in this game because people are going to see those and they're going to say, oh, I'm going to go panic sell my icon and just try to pick up one of these cards uh, that is new team of the year item. So basically that's what you're going to see with those. A lot of icon panic, probably some panic on other areas of the market as well, and also probably some panic buying. Now I want to mention this really quick too at the end. If you don't see a guy like Neymar get into team of the year tomorrow because or today, they will release the team of the year today. They will tweet it out and they'll show the entire team of the year so we're gonna know who's in it. This center attacking mid Neymar is on so many people's buy lists. If he does not get a team of the year or it doesn't look likely that he's gonna get a team of the year via the team of the year vote, if there's gonna be like a 12th man or if they're gonna put in a couple extra guys that didn't get into the starting 11 for team of the year, you might see this card uh, make a quick surge upwards in price as people run to go buy it and put it in their teams because they want this card so bad for their squads. Um, but he's not going to get in team of the year, so this would be the best version of his card. You, you kind of understand what I'm going, what I'm saying and where I'm coming with that. I mean, people, you might see some panic buying on cards, especially like that Roberto Firmino Scream version that I think a lot of people are actually investing in already because it links to so many guys that are supposed to be in team of the year. Like if Sadio Mane, if Trent, if Robertson, Van Dyke and uh, Allison all get into team of the year. That's a lot of Liverpool players that people will try to link to. And I think a lot of people have invested in this card already. It's up like 20K today um, because they think it's going to be a good link investment to team of the year players. So you might see this take another spike up in price when people see the team of the year. You also might see maybe cards like this get panic sold tomorrow when team of the year is announced because some people that still have this card might see Mbappe getting into team of the year and they might go and panic sell this version. So that's something to look out for as well. There's probably going to be some mixtures in the market of some things being panic sold right away today on Monday. And also some things are going to be bought up uh, as people realize what is happening and what cards are coming out for team of the year. Especially, uh, let me look at one other example of that for you guys. This Conte card, right? So Conte should be getting into team of the year. If he is announced tomorrow, you might see a quick drop in the road to the finals price. You might see a quick drop in this card's price just because it's around like 720, I think right now. Uh, but if people see that he's getting in team of the year, they might go and panic sell this card really quick because just people like to panic sell in this game. So you might see a dip in a card like this Conte if he gets in a team of the year. You also might see a dip on that Vieira card, like 88 Vieira that we just looked at. Last year, there was a ton of of panic selling on uh, Vieira's prime card. There was a direct panic sell on this card last year based off of Team of the Year Conte's price, and I would expect that again to happen this year, especially because this card is just super duper rare at this point. Um, but again, I, I have a slight hunch that the Team of the Year cards might be just stupid expensive, and if they're stupid, stupid expensive day one with the attackers being released, if that's how they decide to do it, and then you might see some of the other areas of the market pick back up because people will just realize I don't literally have enough coins to buy these players, even if I want to try them out, basically. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of the market outlook for this week, guys. There's going to be tons of market movements. I do think, though, the general movement of the market is you're going to see things go up, especially in terms of out of packs, informs, out of pack special cards and stuff like that that people are going to be buying their teams with. Again, a lot of this promo is putting coins onto the market getting coins in people's clubs, saved up packs help with that, lightning rounds help with that. There's going to be plenty of those types of packs this week. There's also going to be plenty of chances to make coins through flipping, through investing and stuff like that. So we'll be covering all that stuff this week. And of course, we will be smashing upgrade packs when those are released as well. It's going to be a fun week. All right, all right boys, hopefully you are ready. Hopefully you got your plan set on what you want to do during this team of the year week. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as well. If you did, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you are new. That's the market outlook for this week. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.